Hey, worship team. Uh, with the new Planning Center update, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial and some of the really easy ways to access our media player and your song packets. So as you can see, we're right here in our Planning Center services when you log in on your computer. And uh, you'll see some of these tabs up here. I think the easiest way to get to what you need to look for and the areas you're looking at is click on that tab right there that says My Schedule. And then what my schedule will do is it will take you to all of the areas that you're actually scheduled on. So I'm scheduled, obviously, for this Sunday tonight. And um, so I'm going to click on that date. And then you're going to see this is what's new in the Planning Center update. Um, typically, we've only had the service order and then there were other media player and songbook tabs. But um, you're going to see these three tabs over here, order. So this will show you what the service looks like, where the order is. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see the people here. Um, if not, you click over here and then you can click on what you want listed. You want to be able to see the person. So if you're assigned to that song as a singer. Um, but here's your order. You can see the various teams. You can also see those on the left-hand side too. But... Um, Oh, my computer's slow with this. All right. But the most important tab that I wanted to show you guys was this rehearse tab. This is what's new. So when you click on the rehearse tab, there's a couple things that, that are going to happen if my computer will work. Um, I don't know how to do this now. Oh, wait. Do I have to close out of this? Okay, there we go. So we clicked on the rehearse tab and you see what happened is it pulls over here immediately. It shows you the five songs that we're doing this weekend. It shows you the keys that we're doing them in. So click on your rehearse tab. You have all of this. Um, and then the key to it is look over here, your media players right here. So you can listen to all your songs right there. Um, and then your song book, this is the best part now. So you click on a song book and it's going to, just like before, when you would download your song packet, once you do the song book, it's going to pull you to a PDF. Um, and hopefully you can see that. But before that, it's going to say, what kind of charts do you want? Do you want capo charts? Do you want chord charts? Do you want the lyrics? Sometimes you need other PDFs, like if it's not a planning center chart that we've created, or if you're missing a chart, try clicking on that. But typically what I will do, depending on what instrument um, I'm playing or the keys of the songs, um, I just do the chord charts and that should pull everything you want. Like I said, if for some reason you're missing a song, click on other PDFs and do it again. And that should pull everything up. But I just do our chord chart. Once you hit accept, I don't know if you'll be able to see it through Screencastify, but it'll pull up a packet of all of your songs, and then you can just print right from there. So I hope that this has been helpful. Always email me. Um, you can text me if you guys have any questions about anything. Um, but now you can uh, check out Media Player and Song Packets in just a couple clicks. All right.